Sanchez and Kofi Lobby. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> so we have this week's QC, or this past week's, and I wanted to talk um, with you guys about the poet, the mightier than the shank. Oh, that was cute. We are the shanks. <laughs> I got a message <laughs> about um, one of our poets being shanked, or I don't know, it just kind of confused me, and then I was reading about it in the newspaper. Basilisk. What is the status of the Basilisk, though? Is um, he okay? Yes, he was okay. It says in the paper that he just got a fat lip, oh. some minor bruises and cut. Okay. All I'm trying to say is, like, oh, if, if he's 6'2 okay. and they attacked him, what are they going to do with someone like me? Like, well, like me. I'm a little bit nervous. And it happened during the day and right? by the Shannon Center and by Broad Oaks. Wait, I have a question. Is this also related to that robbery? That, yes. Oh, this that is was, a robbery. That was it. Yeah, they went to his car. Or, oh. like, he got out of the exam early or something, went to his car, and then... He kind of got jumped. But hey, I, got, I give it up but to him. He didn't really suffer too bad. Like, yeah. I mean, he got a fat lip, a straight knee, and minor any, bruises. Any I mean, that's... Off, so. Is that lucky you're being blessed? I don't know. I say that's like he gained some street cred. Okay. If I were to choose to shank or be the shanky, I would take the pain. The shanky. I want to be the shanky. Okay. Well, one way or another, I don't want to be shanked or be a shanky. So let's just all be safe. Safe traveling groups. I want to talk to you guys about the new society called the Paragonians. Dum, I don't know dum, if anyone dum. else has heard about it on campus, but I know that um, I am a part of society and like I think just a whole bunch of society people have a bunch of mixed feelings and don't know how to do about it. So I'm going to express my opinions. They don't really, you know, they're my opinions. So I'm just going to state them. Yeah. You, you yeah. don't have to agree with me. Just say it. What do you feel, We're gonna go. Okay. What do well, you feel? You might not know about it, so I'm just going to read the Paragonian's mission statement, and then we'll just talk about it from there. Okay. We, students of Whittier College, feel it's important and necessary to be a part of something more meaningful than a club. You know, the, the AOKP guys are a club, and oh, it, yeah. it's pretty meaningful that. is that. really they meaningful shanking to each other all the time. Do you know time? that? They're all pretty the close. Time. AOKP, the they time. have alumni that come back, and people who are, like, do big things, and they come and support them. So, yeah. one, props to AOKP, because Shout they have their stuff together. Good for you. We, the people of the Paragonian Society, hereby associate ourselves to making the pledging process an opportunity for our apprentices to grow academically and personally. Apprentice. Apprentices. Are yes. we like welding shoes? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like little elves. You might be looking for like or whatever. Okay. I want to be an apprentice. <laughs> Sounds cute. <laughs> we want to provide a safe community for any interested poets, regardless of their gender identity, and will thereby become Whittier College's first society specifically opened in our constitution to all gender variances. This little statement kind of bugs me. Yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. No, I thought that what? all societies I thought we were just are safe female, to any like, gender identity. What? We're neutral? We're, we're not opposed to anyone. I don't know. I can't think of any other society member, um, club member, that would be opposed to anybody of their gender neutral, whatever that means, like boy, girl, both, like... I just or not being a gender at all. So you yeah, just want to like, be a person. So what's that? And like, I feel like that's great if you just want to be a person. Please. We will vow to abstain from any activities that oppress our fellow scholars and instead promote an environment that creates mutual respect. Okay. Therefore, we set forth the Constitution in order to create closer working relationships and create coordinates among the members of the Paragon Society and the people of Whittier College. I just feel that a lot of this is what... I think all the societies already have. So I'm really confused on what's going to be different about this society than any other one. Because I just take it a little bit offensive, like take a little offense to a group saying that all these societies that are already established are not open to gender variances and are not open to all of these things that they say that they pride themselves on. Let me read what Jacob wrote, Jacob Welch. Um, it says, everything presented by the Paragonians is completely unoriginal, including their core values and the proposed events. I don't know about you guys, but I agree with that. How do you feel? All I'm saying is, I don't, I don't know any society that would just kick out a member and not allow them to come back, ever. Oh, so. yes. Because they do have, um, they have their proposed reciprocal pledging. Which means that you would always pledge every over and over, over, and over, and over again. Every year. 
granted, pledging is fun in its own extent to every society. I personally wouldn't want to do it every year. And if you're trying to keep up your academics, like, good luck with that. Like, every yeah. year imposing um, that challenge. I really do wish that they understood a little bit more what societies are about, what all of our, like, what all of our societies are based upon, our, like, core values. Because I feel like what they want is something that they could have found that they could have found in different societies. But again, like unless you're going to every open house rush type of thing and giving all societies a fair chance, in my opinion, you don't have a right to kind of put down ours and create something that you're again not fully informed about. It's not yeah. Exactly. Like well not only is the sex yeah. available, but all of the societies are are based upon sex, but just because you're part of society, it doesn't mean that we're telling you to act a certain way. So you could go ahead and be a part of any society, and you could still be yourself. No one is telling you to change. No one's telling you how to act and how to live. Victoria Savage wrote, or said, um, It's been a lot of hard work, but if I can keep just one student from transferring from this school, my school, then I know that I have accomplished what I was set out to do. Stuff, yeah. I don't know about you guys, yeah. but I when I check my Whittier email, it is like spammed of just it, invitations to go. That's all it is. It's everything. nothing but invitations to go meet like professionals, potential friends, society members, you can walk club with members. The president, you you could, can. yeah, you could, you could take a walk with the president. If you have issues, you could you could literally do that. Did you, yeah. did you walk with the president and Get tell to know her? the president? Seriously, like the president wants to walk with you. Yeah. I, you better That's wake unheard up. of. You better, you better wake up. You better wake up. Yeah. So, just in general, if you feel like you don't fit in, poets, go to everything that is on your email, and I promise you, you're bound to find someone at this school. At least one person. Okay, the only reason that they would leave, and like that is like declining invitation after invitation, you don't want friends, you don't want to fit in. That's my opinion. Bye. You obviously aren't contributing to the Whittier community that everyone else seems to be so close-knit on, so. It's true. So, if you feel left out, poets, our advice to you would be, get involved. Be happy. Be get happy. to know people. Yeah. That's my opinion. Advice. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> I was so <laughs> happy. I was like, okay. So that's going to wrap up um, this new segment. I, I had fun with it. I don't know about you guys. But I want to go ahead and talk about my next segment. So this is my second year doing Mock Talk. And Alex was actually in charge of it last time. And we just had a lot of fun times together. So what we're going to be doing is just watching bloopers of us. I really hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. You're such a liar. Where is it? No, really, where are the bloopers? Could you replay that awkward blurb? Trying to get the spider. And go! Get the spider! Okay, sorry to interrupt mock talk. But like, really though, there's a spider on the ceiling. Not just a baby spider, like, zoom in on that shit, like, I know it's not to keep calm and mock on. Here's the email. Dear Julie Mock, I just wanted to note that I'm getting old. I'm not really looking for advice, just your thoughts. I wanted to live it up and have time for myself. Mark. I agree. I'm getting old. Ugh, that's not fun. So, time is something that keeps going and you aren't going to be able to stop it. So do what you want, when you want it, whenever you can, because you feel like it. Do whatever makes you happy. 
That's really what it all comes down to. Have fun. Just, just make sure you're keeping your morals and all your standards and all that taken care of because we don't want anything getting too crazy. Well, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close Mock Talk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to read the QC, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, you know, the whole social media nonsense. Well, until next time, mock on!